Why did the media not report on these parties for months and months and months when some of them had even been there, for example? Absolutely. I mean, the timing of this scandal is very suspect. Obviously, Dominic Cummings is up to it, in, up to his neck in it, because he's using it to get revenge on mm. his former mm. uh, colleagues in Downing Street. And the media is just squeezing it for every drop that it's worth in order to wound the prime minister and to weaken the elected government. And, you know, as you say, I was, uh, uh, me and you and other people too, were stinging critics of the excesses of lockdown and the extreme variant of lockdown that we had in 2020 and also in 2021. And uh, Boris should be held to account for those lockdowns, for the clampdown on civil liberties, for the economic damage that was done, for the impact on mental health and physical health as a result of closing down society. He needs to answer for those things. But I think at the moment, What's happening is we're obsessing over the rule breakers rather than the rules themselves. The problem was not that some people broke the rules. The problem is not even that Prime Minister, the Prime Minister may have broken the rules. The problem is the rules. Why did we put up yes. with this kind of legislation that restricted everyday life? That's what we need to talk about.